garbage baskets underneath. Massimino, graduate of the University of Vermont. 50 years of age, three years younger than his counterpart, Lefty Drizel. Bias is trying to post up on Plansky. Dwayne McLean is back in for Villanova. Gatlin. Bias with a rebound. Can't hit, and Pinkney rips down the rebound, clears it out to Gary McLean. A little too hard. Solo now, Pinkney is back. And Pinkney caught in the trap. No, it's McLean that is called for the foul, Gary McLean. They were, try they were trying an alley oop that time, Dick. I think it was a little bit too fancy. He had an automatic two points, they just passed the ball. If you watch Branch coming down, he should pull up on the foul line here. He got both wings open, but he continues over the foul line. See him continue over into it? Now the alley-oop on the other side would have worked if Branch did not come down that deep into the paint. Maryland leading 39-37. Basketball is the spacing between you and your teammates. Basketball is not a fast game, it's a quick game. You're an old Wooden, uh, John Wooden expression. Be quick, but don't hurry. As usual, right on the money is. Branch, not there. Plansky touched it last for Villanova. Boy, neither team can shake the other one. They get a three or four, four point lead and back they come. That's been the parameter. Five points either way, the biggest lead. Nice 15 footer by Tom Speedy Jones. Six points for him and a four point Maryland lead. Another big game to follow on NBC, either Indiana, Illinois, or Georgia Tech, North Carolina. Pinckney misses. Presley, here's another second chance, but he dribbled on the baseline. Presley that time looked up at the basket, then he bounced the ball on the baseline. McLean was free right to the right of him. Watch this play here. See McLean free right here. Now watch Presley bounce the ball down. Hits his ankle, goes off. Well, Maryland with a break with six minutes gone in the second half. Presley, that's just too much crowding, and a foul on Presley is his third. Yeah, do it now. Nickname is Kaz. Bill Cosby look alike. I asked him if he'd ever met uh, the famous comedian, and he said, uh, no, but boy, would I like to. The lawyer Stu started eating jello, chocolate pudding. Watch NBC. This guy's be a big basketball fan. Foul. And I believe that also against Presley, and suddenly he's saddled with four. And Chuck Emerson, the 7 1 frontliner, will replace Presley. That foul was caused because the defensive man has vertical rights above him. Presley jumped into him, which created the foul. Derek Lewis at the line from Temple Hills, Maryland, John Carroll High School, same high school that Jeff Baxter, also in this Maryland team, attended. Presley leaves the game with 10 rebounds, so that part of the Villanova game will uh, be hurting a bit. And that is the biggest lead either team has enjoyed in the game. Six points on top are the Maryland Terrapins. They've got to get D-Train into the game. McLean, he has to start scoring. He's too good of a ball player not to score. Here he goes. Looking for his first oh. basket. He misses again. And a foul as McLean had his own rebound, and Jones got him from behind. I look, I look for him to start to move now, McLean. I look for him in the next 13 minutes to probably get about eight points. Dwayne McLean second only to Pinckney in scoring just under 15 points a game but with a rough first half 0 for 3 from the floor made his two free throw attempts for only two points.
and he's missed two shots here in the second half. It's man to man now, so the ball should go into the big guy. They settle back into his zone again right away. Here's Dwayne McLean, off to Gary, not related. It's spelled the same way. One has a M C L A I N, the other M C C L A N, the bigger McLean. Now set up a box. See two men on the foul line, two men on the baseline. They'll pick for each other. Watch. Wide Wilbur is going to come in now. Yeah, they're looking for outside shooting. That's why Wilbur comes in. Plansky missed two or three in a row. Now there's the box set up again. Now they'll swing across. Watch Everson. They might call him for picking here. That's the big guy here, 41. Now watch him swing over for picking. <laughs> he was open. <laughs> Wilbur got... He wanted it. Pinkney is going to be called on the back on the rebound. That is his third. Suddenly, Massimino's big men in trouble. One on the bench with four, Presley, and Pinkney has his third. All right, let's join Coach Mass's mind. Pinkney has three fouls. There's 12.55 left in the game. They're down by six. He has to think this one over. This is a big decision he has to make right now. Does he take Pinkney out? If he doesn't, he has to let him go all the way. That is the seventh team foul already against Villanova in the half. Maryland has committed only two in this half, so the bonus is in effect for the Terrapins. A big break for them so early. Only uh, seven minutes have been played. He's not thinking about that. He's thinking what to do with Easy Ed. Come on, what do you do, Mass? All right, he's going to take him out. I guess he's going to take him out, yeah. And go Presley. Um, it's too early to gamble. Just under 13 minutes. Derek Lewis, who hit both free throws the last time, has three in a row as Maryland builds its lead. I feel a little sorry for guys like Derek Lewis with a six foot seven, and they put him in center. Oh, they didn't take out the uh, easy edge. Hmm. But what they're probably trying to do now is bury Pinckney inside their zones so he won't commit his fourth foul. But I'm saying, Dick, the Lewis six foot seven, he's really a forward, and they got him at center, which is difficult. Of course, you start to play the game too much with your back to the basket. Maryland building its lead now to eight points. Villanova scored only six points in the second half. Six points in well over seven minutes. McLean throws it away. Adrian Branch the other way. Rebound to Wilbur. Oh, that would have been a ten-point lead for Maryland. That Branch nailed what was a relatively easy shot for him. They need a silencer. That means they need a basket. Get this crowd down. Wilbur takes it inside. Has it stolen by Branch. Fellas, inside's all clogged up. You got to put it out. Your big men have inside position to rebound. Put it up on the glass. Maryland, very few mistakes. Have turned it over only six times. So now Villanova with 15 turnovers. Bias with a quick move, and he was fouled by Presley. That'll be all for him. Didn't know which one he was going to call it on, and both were around him. And that's all she wrote for Presley. Played a good game, Dick. Played hard. Short only two points, but he had 11 rebounds. That's all for Harold Presley. Timeout, just under 12 minutes left, and Maryland by eight. And Massimino dueling here. You'll see Bobby Cremens and Dean Smith as Tech plays at Carolina. Bobby Knight and Lou Henson in the Big Ten scrap between the Illini and the Hoosiers. Coach V is there. Coach V says anything about Bobby Knight, he'll punch him. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Valvano will be our expert analyst. Some of you will be able to enjoy a colorful head coach of North Carolina State in his commentary. Right now, the pressure on Villanova. They've lost a starter. Presley is out. And they've got two other starters playing with three fouls. Pickney and Gary McLean. Lewis of Maryland has three. Bias at the line, one and one. And again, the only way they're going to get back in this game is for Dwayne McLean to start perking, start boiling. Light up his afterburner. That's eight unanswered points for Maryland to take a 10-point lead. 16 of those scored by Bias. Plenty of time, 12 minutes left. 
They just can't get the ball inside. There's another turnover. All alone is Branch. Oh, that could, that could be a turning oh, point. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Too much French pastry. Too much hot dog with no mustard. Why aren't people happy to get two points? There's nobody around them. He, he left the, the court too soon. He was on his way down and couldn't dunk. He caught the front of the rim. Now it remains a 10-point lead. Let's see how that affects play. Pinkney inside and the foul on Maryland. Pinkney sends his body eight different ways. And if you guard him, you got to foul him, either on the foot, the hip, the shoulder, the arm, or the head. Ed Pinkney is at the line. Looking for his first points of the second half. He scored 11 to lead the Cats in the first half. He is now 5 for 9 free throw shooting today. He's better than that. Well, went to Adley Stevenson High School in the Bronx. That breaks the drought for Villanova. 47-38. 11-17 remaining. Head matchup underneath. Bias will take the town. Good steal by Plansky as he moves in front of Bias, who barked at the official, thought he was fouled. Yeah, Plansky got away with a little bit of a bump that time. Plansky in the paint. Nice move by the young man. Excellent, excellent. Four points for Plansky, a seven-point Maryland lead with 10.45 left in the second half. Gatlin sees an opening. Keith Gatlin was six. Bad defensive set that time up court. Each time they set up the 94 feet, Maryland goes down and scores. A three on two or two on one. Plansky. Over the top of the board, out of bounds to Maryland. Well, it, Villanova just hasn't gotten that consistent outside shooter. They'll make one and then they can't make the next one. They might be pushing the traps too much. Here's the trap now. Maryland's cleaning that clock inside around the paint. This is the 1-3-1 one trap in all the corners. Maryland spreading it out. Gatlin forcing that one. It comes out to Dwayne McLean. Gary to Pickney. Bad pass, but Wilbur recovers. Dwayne McLean still hasn't scored from the floor. Won't go down from 49-40 Maryland. Maryland has the opportunity to put him away. You know, a lot of teams don't have that killer instinct just to destroy you. Get 20, 30 points. Rebounds and scores. He's fouled. Bias gets fouled the first time, then the second time he gets hit again, but he dunks it. Now watch the first foul. There it is. Now he goes up and that's an athlete. I'm sorry I made a mistake early and said he was a senior. I got lefty all nervous. <laughs> that would make him nervous. That means that Maryland has outscored Villanova 18 to 9 in the second half. The lead by a dozen. They're trying to force it inside too much, Katz. Picked by Bias. You'll notice in the set here, they're trying to force it in. Give it over to McLean or give it over to um, Wilbur. Let them shoot from the outside. Pickney has inside position because he's being all the play. Wayne McLean with a good save. And he makes... Uh, he reached in. No walk. No walk. Foul on Gatlin. Right. It was no walk. He reached in. Gatlin turned around and reached in as he went by. For Villanova... Presley and Dwayne McLean between them have only one field goal. Presley's already fouled out, and between them, they're like one for 15 unofficially. And surprisingly, they're still in the ball game. 
They're out a dozen, but they need a run. 9-13 left. 52-40. Pink knee wide open as McLean. There it is, his first basket, and he is fouled. Nice pass. He went, he went right to the steel, right to the iron. Watch this pass. Goes into easy. And he bounces it off to the weak side because he's being overguarded from the weak side, which leaves it open over there. Tom Jones has his second foul. And Dwayne McLean finally on the board in that field goal column and converts the three-point play to cut Maryland's lead down to nine. 904 left. If they're coming back, he's the guy that got to bring them back beyond his shoulders. Simple little trap, 1-3-1. One, one. Maryland handling fine, well coached. Reflected out of bounds by Pinckney. What they're trying to set up here, Dick, is an alley-oop for either Branch or for Bias on the baseline. up player that's 21 for bias just too much talent individual talent there in the man-to-man -man matchup against Klinsky they really are a good one-on-one -on -one team Maryland they've got such excellent size at all position Pick me blocked by Lewis it stays down there the arrows pointing that way good block by Lewis his 71st of the year Derek Lewis had as many blocks as the entire Villanova team well, Lewis set the record in high school for the most blocks by a senior. Lansky inside to Pinkney. He scores. He's fouled by Lewis. And he walked. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what happened. Lewis planted in his head. He knew Lewis was around him. Yeah, you see it moved then. That pivot foot moved a couple of inches. Fourth foul on Lewis of Maryland. Pinkney tries to convert the three-point play. He's the only son in a family of seven, six sisters. He said the toughest thing growing up was getting into the bathroom. 54-46. <laughs> Look at that McLean hustle, and he touched it last. Oh, that was Wilbur that time. Excuse yeah. me. Watch Wilbur dive for the ball. He made a face, but he did hit it last. Now watch Wilbur. So he hit it last and out of bounds. Obviously, they all point the other way. That's the way the Indians went. Eight minutes remaining here at Colton Fieldhouse. A sellout, 14,500. They were sold out yesterday against Notre Dame. And just a couple of miles away at Landover, a sellout, Georgetown and St. John's. Who says it's just a redskin town? steal by Dwayne McLean, Gatlin the beat, and he's got him, and Gatlin fouled him, and suddenly Villanova roars back. Again, that is the man, Dick, if it's going to happen. The type of talent he has, natural talent. The program has him at 6'6". Six, six. I doubt whether he's 6'6". Six, six. Here's the turnover, gets a hand on it. Now his confidence is there. a chance at the three-point lead that would cut Maryland's once 12-point advantage down to five. Timeout is called, and it's Villanova on an uptick. 7.42 remaining. Maryland 54, the Cats of Villanova 48. Good timeout by Lefty that time. Cole Fieldhouse here at the University of Maryland twice hosted the NCAA championship. Tournament, I believe it was 1966 and again in 1970 with Texas Western then, the UTEP. Al at uh, Don Haskins' team surprised the world when he beat Kentucky in the final. Yeah, they, uh, Kentucky had a great ball club, but uh, Don Haskins' club just came in here, a couple of key steals in the second half and gave him the championship down there. Yeah. Don Haskins is still coaching down at UTEP. And in 1970, UCLA beat Jacksonville and Artis Gilmore for one of John Wooden's 10 championships. So this... Fieldhouse, 14,500, has some royal 
history. Field goal percentages still not good for Villanova, but they have clawed back, and with this chance by McLean, would be only five down. It remains 54-48. to get back into their offensive pack. Branch and Bias got to keep putting the ball up. It's too soon to start Mickey Mouse. Adrian Branch off the back of the rim. What a rebound and a foul on Plansky. His third. Branch following his own shot. Unbelievable high to get. Now watch it come off the rim. Everyone goes up. Now here comes the foul. Yep, slapped at the ball. Adrian Branch, the 6'8 senior from Largo, Maryland, went to DeMatha High School. I got a statistic that a lot of people know already, but some don't. DeMatha High School, every ball player that went to that high school and every manager that's been on the team have received a scholarship. To college. Not just the starters. Not just everyone. Everyone that's ever gone through the four years has received the scholarship. Morgan Wooten's great legacy of DeMantha. Eight-point lead for Maryland. And has that great center there this year, Ferry. Whistle away from the ball, and I believe it's on Terry Long, yes, of Maryland. A little bit too much hands on Long that time. Pickney was active. That'll send D.C. Ed Pickney to the line. He is now the 11th highest score in Villanova history is closing in on the 1600 point mark looking for his 16th today watch for pressure up court by the cats 56 50 Maryland there's the pressure up court here comes the steal Oh, was that close. Wilbur now, it's a break for Maryland, 200, but Plansky has the steal. Go to the steal, go to the Wayne iron. McLean, Pinckney makes it 56-52. Settle down, Maryland, settle down. Another uh -huh. turnover. Got him out of sync. We were talking to Roley Massimino before the game. I said, what's the biggest difference? He said, easy, defense. The multiple defenses we use, we can't just go to the simple zones and the man-to-man, -man, a little pressure. You have to keep them off balance, and certainly he's called on a special defensive card in this situation. Now a basket, and Villanova down by 12 would be only back by two. They, what happens with Maryland, the instinct, they get a lead, a double-digit lead, they seem to go a little solo after that, and that's what hurts them. You're always in the game against Maryland, even though a great ball club. Dwayne McLean, there's your man. Don't worry Dwayne about Dwayne McLean, Dick. He is going to get the points, and he, if the Cats are going to win, it's going to be Dwayne McLean. He now has nine. Good pressure again by Villanova. Atkins in trouble. Uh, three underneath now. Penetrate, Gatlin. All right, it's not there. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay, set, Maryland. You're getting into this game now. Okay, to setting up now. Looking for bias. Trying to get it into him. 6-15. Maryland led by 12 in this half, and now it's down to a two-point game. Next time, Brant. Bias is going to go up over him. There we go. Bias off the glass. Led Bias, 23 points. Don't be upset, Plansky. He's just a super, super athlete. And he'll be back next year. Five forty-five left in the game. Dwayne McLean working. Ah! Eric Lewis rebounds for Maryland. Now they get a little more super aggressive on their defense. Villanova will. Maryland will try to spread it out more. Again, trying to get the alley oop to bias. Bias, down on the baseline, just out of your picture. Or Branch, they're both on the baseline, hoping to draw an alley-oop pass. Jeff Atkins takes the shot, not there, and Pinckney rebounds. Gary McLean said, no, nope, we don't have the numbers, and he shook his head and said, no, we'll just slow it down. 5.05 left. Maryland 58, Villanova 54. 
Pinckney with a pass and the easy shot as Plansky has the assist. Oh, I thought they should have kept pressure up court. They turned him over a couple of times. Now he went back to set Lynn to let Maryland attack. I think that might have been a mistake. They had Maryland on the run. Well, you said at the start of the game, Al, it'd be Len Bias and Ed Pinckney, and they're both over 20 points. Well, they're the two thoroughbreds. Neither one have received the publicity they deserve throughout the country. They're definitely pros in the future. One, one year from now and one this year. Adrian Branch. He hit him, he hit him, he hit him. You can hear the foul. Yeah, you gotta be upset, Mass, but the kid hit the shot. It was a good shot. He's six foot eight. He plays guard. He shoots over you. Now, oh, Adrian Branch with 16 points will step to the line. Maryland opens its lead to four. Can't do anything about it. He's so tall that he can shoot over McLean and Wilbur. Wilbur with a foul. And a chance for a four point play as Lewis gets the rebound. All right, they want to set up, spread out, get the ball to Bias. He has it now. Up over him. <laughs> Len Bias, two points from his career high, has 25. I would have taken that, Wilbur. Lansky, way off the mark. Out of bounds to Villanova. Boy, Bias really wanted that last one. He got in the paint and said, give it to me. This is the first time he's taken a little bit of a baby hook rather than just turn around Skya. Well, we'll look at that Bias play when we return. There's a timeout with 3.49 left. Maryland by six. Nassimino drawing up either a offensive or defensive strategy. The theme for Villanova this year was a thousand and more in 84. They started the year with 999 wins. They're the 32nd team in NCAA history to win a thousand. And Minnesota became the 33rd this year, the Golden Gophers. Roley paid the price. 11 years of coaching high school. I think he's had three different high schools. One up in Maine and two, I think, in New Jersey. Quinney in Connecticut, too, for a while. He still has good recruiting bets there in Connecticut. I'm not certain. But he also was a head coach out of Long Island at Stony Brook uh, College out there. And then he was an assistant at Pennsylvania under Chuck Daly for a couple of years. But he paid the price. He knows the game. He never has to walk up backwards to get his paycheck. Replace Jack Kraft at... Uh Villanova in 1973. Only have had three coaches here in 50 years. Six point deficit staring at Villanova with 3.45 left in the game. And a big basket right here. Getting the other side.